Breaking news on KCAL 9 right now, and you are looking at a very fast high speed pursuit. Let's go right up to Gil Levis. He's overhead in Sky 9. Gil? Sandra, 120 miles an hour here on the 91 freeway, just passing the uh, 605. This guy has been coming out of the Chino area, Chino, actually San Bernardino area, uh, through the city of Chino, down through the 60 freeway, onto the 57 southbound, then onto the 91 here, and he has been moving at 100 miles an hour, at least, on this freeway here. Ever since the 57, he just really took off. Now, CHP is in pursuit. They're in pursuit of this vehicle. This the uh, suspect inside of this vehicle is a, a burglary suspect. Burglary suspects out of the San Bernardino area. And you can see how fast he's going. They're clocking him at 120 miles an hour. Very dangerous high-speed pursuit here on the 91 freeway. We're approaching uh, the Long Beach Paramount area. And he, this guy is not slowing down. We've seen him approach vehicles uh, in that HOV lane and uh, just blown, blown by them, trying to go in between. Now you see him going all the way to the right side of the freeway and then back. So this is how it's been for the last uh, about 10 minutes here or so. Now he's slowing down dramatically there. You can see, oh, squeeze him right through there. Unbelievable. He's going to, you know, it's just a matter of time before he uh, rear ends someone at these speeds. And you can see there's uh, the traffic here is not really light. It's kind of moderate traffic here on the 91 approaching the 710 freeway. But uh, as, as quickly as I mentioned a freeway, he approaches the next one. He blew past the 605 freeway. Now he's onto the, onto the 710 freeway here, coming up to the 710 on the 91. So again, a high-speed chase here. Very dangerous, very reckless. We're going to zoom in and try to get a closer look uh, at that suspect driving. We don't know how many suspects are in the vehicle, if it's just the driver or uh, if there's other people inside the car. But again, uh, this pursuit starting about, uh, I'd say about 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago now, out of the San Bernardino. And it looks like, it looks like he's going northbound 710. Let's see wh which transition road he takes here. Yep, committed to the northbound 710 from the 91. He's going to have to slow it down here on this curve. Uh, but uh, looking out ahead, usually the 710 freeway has some uh, pretty heavy traffic here. But at this hour, it's looking about the same moderate. Look at him taking that gore point right through that gore point, and he's going to hit, punch it here, I, I'd imagine, here uh, on that 710 freeway. But uh, CHP in pursuit of this vehicle. They have an airship overhead. I believe the sh uh, L.A. County Sheriff's were assisting at some point. The uh, Sheriff's air, air Unit was assisting on this pursuit. But again, here he goes, taking off like a rocket on this 710 freeway northbound, going through the Paramount area at this point. Gil, just incredibly dangerous, not only the speeds, but the way he is weaving back and forth and all across all lanes of traffic. Yeah, that's, I mean, 120 miles an hour through traffic like that, those cars are standing still. And all it takes is one car to make one, one wrong move, and it's over with. So we're hoping that that doesn't happen for the safety of the innocent drivers out here on the freeway. But you can only imagine this guy blowing by you on the freeway. One second, it's uh, nice and quiet on the roads, and, and then the next second, this guy's blowing by you at 120 miles. Look at it, he's taking the shoulder there. I'm going to zoom out here and show you the traffic ahead of him. You can see he's just he's just making ways here. Now he's up to the 105 freeway here, and he's going to transition. Let's see which way he goes here on that 105. It looks like maybe westbound 105. Uh, stand by, I'll tell you in just a second. Yeah, westbound 105 here uh, from the 710 freeway. He's going to be going to uh, through Linwood. Let's keep it flat. Uh, Linwood area now at this point, westbound 105. And we're having to make a sh really sharp turn just to keep up with this guy in Sky 9. But uh, amazing speeds on that transition road. Uh, obviously a, a pretty good high performance vehicle there that this guy's driving. But again, it's a, a, a robbery or burglary suspects out of the San Bernardino area. Chino PD was in pursuit for a while. They handed it over to the CHP and the CHP has been in pursuit ever since the 60 and the uh, 57 freeway, I believe. That's when the CHP picked it up southbound on the 57 and came down through the Brea area into uh, Orange County and then across the 91. That's where we picked it up and this continues now into the Linwood area along the 105 freeway westbound. Looking up ahead, same uh, traffic conditions, uh, medium, medium to light traffic ahead of him and the next uh, freeway that he's going to hit is going to be the 110 freeway. And certainly no regard for public safety. We just saw him fly by a school bus. He's coming up on a lot of trucks, which we know are very difficult to control. Uh, Gil, are you still in the Linwood area? Uh, Linwood now, uh, let's see, he's, he's going to be approaching the South L.A. area, the Watts area here. But uh, <laughs> amazingly, I just looked down at uh, the speedometer here in uh, Sky 9, and 
we're hitting like 130 miles an hour here. So this guy is really pushing the limits here. Very dangerous situation here. You can see him in that, uh, that diamond lane there, the HOV lane, just taking over this freeway, just passing vehicles like they're standing still. Now we just saw something fly out there. I don't know if that was uh, debris from the freeway, if he threw something out, or maybe something came off his car, but uh, I don't know if you had noticed that or not, but uh, it looked like out of his passenger window. I'm gonna double in here and let's take a look. He's moving around inside that car. Uh, he may have thrown something out of the window there, out of the uh, passenger side. Again, we don't know if there's uh, other people in the car here, but uh, at this point, it actually looks like there might be a passenger in that vehicle. We'll uh, try to get you that, but uh, at this point, just incredible speeds here on the, on the 105 freeway as he approaches that uh, 110 freeway. Gil, it looks like somebody in that vehicle, either the driver or if there is a passenger, moving around some papers, apparently. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing now that there is a, uh, a, a possibly a female passenger in that vehicle. Uh, we believe it's the male driver, female passenger. So that's that may be what you're seeing there, Sandra. Uh, but uh, again, I mean, this guy is not slowing down. Uh, to say the least. You can see him just blowing through the, uh, blowing past the cars, changing lanes, in and out, weaving in and out, coming really close to vehicles, almost smashing into them. I mean, it's just ridiculous how fast this guy's going. And Gil, most of the time, now, looks like, yeah. Most of the time when, when you and I watch these pursuits, we know how they're going to end. Uh, Eventually the suspect pulls over and gives up, but I'm not so sure that's the way this one is going to end. It looks so yeah. dangerous. Yeah, I, I'm, it, it just doesn't look that way. I mean, he, this guy has no intentions of stopping, definitely no intentions of slowing down. Now he's taking the 110 freeway here. Let's see which way he goes, southbound or northbound. It looks like northbound. He's going northbound. So uh, we may have to pull back here due to uh, LAX traffic. We have to get below that traffic and get approval through there. But we'll keep the shot on him as he goes northbound the 110 freeway uh, from the 105 freeway. And this started in Orange County, is that right, Gil? Uh, we understand that it started uh, in the uh, San Bernardino area, uh, came through the Chino area. Uh, it, it initially was heading eastbound. This guy turned around westbound on the 60 freeway, came all the way through the city of industry and then to the 50, uh, or almost to the city of industry and then to the 57. That's where he went southbound, 57, and then onto the 91. 91 to the, uh, I'm losing track. <laughs> 91 to the 710, 710 to the uh, 105 and 105 now to the 110. And look at him, he's just taking the shoulder, heavy traffic here on this on this 110 freeway. As uh, most of you know, this uh, tree, this freeway can get pretty heavy at this hour, but he is not slowing down, taking the shoulder, you know, passing these cars, and uh, very heavy ahead in, in about one mile. So uh, we got the clearance through the LA air, airspace here. Now he could exit at any, any point here on this during this pursuit, uh, and he would end up in the LAPD's jurisdiction, jurisdiction at this point, but uh, he doesn't look like he's planning on exiting anytime soon. Using that shoulder of the road to get by now, you know, that's so dangerous. Not only cars coming off on the freeway, cars getting off the freeway, but then also you have debris on that shoulder, you have cars that have broken down possibly, and uh, he's coming up at, you know, 100, I'm looking at the clock now, it's 125 miles an hour this guy's going on this freeway with the traffic. He's exiting here, let's see what the exit is here. This possibly might be Gage. We're gonna try to get around in here, but he's, flying off that, you see the cars diving out of the way there. He's gonna go straight through, straight through that street and continuing now so on surface streets in the LAPD's jurisdiction, the South LA area. I'll try right, to get Gil, you a street here momentarily. All right, we're gonna stay with your live picture. Yeah. I wanna go right to the telephone right now. We have Officer Ramirez with us on the telephone. Officer, what can you tell us about the suspect in this pursuit? Well, it looks like the uh, initial, uh, this vehicle was initially wanted for some type of burglary out in the San Bernardino area uh, by the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department. Uh, the vehicle um, failed to stop, uh, continued uh, driving away from the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department at a high rate of speed and continued well into Orange County. Um, it looks like our units picked it up somewhere in Orange County on the 91 freeway westbound. Uh, we are now, looks like we got off the freeway uh, from the 110 freeway southbound and he's transversing uh, city streets uh, in the South LA area. And Officer Ramirez, our uh, helicopter pilot, tracked him at about 130 miles per hour. Is that what you're getting? That's what I'm getting here on my log, that apparently he had uh, exceeded uh, speeds of over 100 miles per hour, which of course is of great concern to us because uh, at that uh, rate of speed, uh, 
this vehicle can, uh, well, a lot, a lot of things can happen. Uh, it's, if he's involved in some type of a collision, it, there could be some very serious injuries. But also this vehicle tra uh, traveling at that rate of speed um, could easily crash and uh, possibly disintegrate on impact. All right, Officer Vince Ramirez from the CHP, thanks so much for joining uh, us. Let's go back up to Gil Levis. He's overhead in Sky 9. And Gil, it looks like he went behind the building. There he is. Well, Sandra, it's really hard to keep up with this guy, which streets he's on. He's northbound right now. We'll try to get that street for you. But uh, definitely in the Florence area, uh, it looks like about uh, Slauson, maybe he might be on there. Right turn on Slauson, eastbound now. Uh, exited the freeway, uh, off the 110 freeway. Blew through streets there, just nonstop. Cars diving out of the way, as you saw. But uh, again, just really reckless on these uh, surface streets, just blowing red lights, stop signs, blown by cars, wrong side of the road. You see him there, wrong side of the road, in the center lane there. Now let's see, he's gonna pass all these vehicles here now. I imagine there's gonna be a stop stoplight here momentarily that he's gonna have to make a decision here, but he's just r straddling that center line. Come here, he goes northbound now. Northbound, I'll try to get that street for you. It looks like it might be Avalon that he may have turned on there. Uh, but again, you know, the speeds have slowed down now to about uh, 50, 60 miles an hour. Red light right through, almost hit that car there. Left turn now, westbound uh, surface street. We'll try to get that for you. But you see the uh, LA County Sheriff's helicopter there assisting with the ground uh, units. And I, it looks like there aren't any ground units behind this vehicle at this point, just that airship that's tracking. We'll try to get uh, the LAPD involved in this, uh, possibly since it's in, in their area. Uh, but again, here he goes northbound, weaving his way in and out these surface streets, very dangerous. People on the streets, uh, pedestrians walking through those intersections, and it's just a very dangerous situation at this, these high speeds. We'll try to get through the street he's on right now in uh, just a second. Boy, it seems as fast as goes. you get the name of the street, he's on to another street, and it looks like he's in a neighborhood now. Oh. Oh. Did he hit something? He just missed the kid on a, on a skateboard there. Uh, I can't believe he, I thought he was going to hit that kid oh, on that a skateboard. Close. The skit. Yeah, the kid was skating right there on the uh, on the street, and uh, it just missed him. Here he goes, northbound now. It looks like uh, this might be Avalon. Now he's again weaving here westbound on a surface street. This might be 54th Street possibly, uh, but continuing here, high speeds through these neighborhoods. I mean, you're looking at a 25 mile an hour zone there, and he's blowing through it at at 50, 60 miles an hour. Here he comes to a, a stop sign. Major street here, he's going to make a decision right through, weaving right through the traffic there, and then continuing westbound. It's unbelievable that he has not had an accident yet. Uh, still the Florence area, Gil? Oh. Uh, no. And another he's, pedestrian. Uh, trying to get, yeah, another pedestrian there, uh, trying to get the location. He's re real close to the 55th Street and uh, the, the 110. Now here, here he goes, jumping back on the freeway here, northbound 110. Northbound 110 freeway uh, from about 54th Street. Oftentimes we'll see. A correction. That yeah, go ahead. On the shoulder of the road again. Oftentimes we'll see the CHP or the LAPD pull back when they think the pursuit is too dangerous. Is that what happened here? You said no vehicles in pursuit right now? Well, I think he's going so fast, taking so many different streets, it's hard to get uh, some coordination there on, uh, with the ground officers to try to figure out where exactly he is. He's moving so fast. And, uh, you know, I can hear the LAPD discussing uh, how to handle this guy. Here he is, a red light, pedestrians, a trash truck. I mean, he's just going to blow right through there. Just delaying. He almost hit that car. Boy, he almost clipped the and back end of the car. And now he's southbound. Yeah, southbound. Uh, this might be Vermont or Hoover here that he's on. But again, I mean, he is uh, reckless, reckless in his driving here. Again, wanted for a burglary, a burglary suspect here, wanted out of the, uh, I believe they said San Bernardino area. But uh, just not, not concerned about the, the general public out here, the way he's driving. We've seen several oh, close calls with just pedestrians. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, a guy with a, a grocery cart there just almost got clipped. I mean, we saw a skateboarder, we saw people crossing the road. That guy with the, with the uh, with the cart there and just you know no respect for anybody here this guy just blowing through now he ha he's got some speed bumps on this street that's slowing him down a little bit that's good but uh, here he goes northbound again uh this uh might be vernon i believe this is vernon and gil do we know anything else about the female passenger in the car whether she is there willingly or if she was taken against her will 
You know, we haven't heard anything like that, Sandra. Uh, we just know that there is confirmed two people in that car. Uh, there he goes, wrong side of the road. Pedestrians again, a lady with a baby. Uh, it's unbelievable. This is so close, coming so close to these people on the streets. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the latest we've heard that it, it's a male and a female, male driver, female passenger. All right, South Los Angeles right now, if you're just joining oh, us. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. just missed those kids. That woman just pulled that little child onto the sidewalk, just barely missing, barely missing that little child. He said the, the mother had to pull that little child onto the sidewalk just to save her. This is simply unbelievable. Very high speed pursuit now through the streets of South Los Angeles. And we have seen several pedestrians, that lady with a baby, a man pushing a shopping cart. And, a, and uh, another child, a, a young person on a skateboard. We see people standing there at the bus stops in just a very dangerous oh. situation. There he is, muscling his way through that uh, traffic right there. No regards for the, the general public here. Again, you know, the, the drivers out here, they have no idea what's coming. The, definitely the pedestrians don't know what's coming. Uh, and, uh, you know, just erratic in his driving. He's, he's just taking streets at random here, just w interweaving here. We're not sure if he maybe knows someone in this area or might maybe possibly even live in this area. It's hard to say, but uh, it just seems like he's just taking random streets here, left and right, and continuing on. It's a nice, warm, sunny day, and certainly a lot of people are out on the streets right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're seeing a lot of foot traffic out here. And uh, again, here's here's the person just j diving out of the way. It's like a bull. You know, the people are just diving out of the way of this guy as he uh, blows through these streets. And here he is coming to a stop. Let's see what happens here. Exiting the vehicle. He's on his cell phone and he's running. The female closes the door, takes off, and she's going to continue on. At this point, he's under the tree. There's no PD. Okay, we have him running here. The only uh, police overhead is the uh, sheriff's helicopter. The suspect, the driver here, is getting out running here on his cell phone. The female, dri the female passenger taking over the vehicle and driving uh, off with it. But here he's looking for somewhere to dive into. Obviously, behind these trees here, let's see if we... He can hear the helicopters yeah. overhead, but we saw the suspect there in what looked like a white T-shirt and dark denim jeans um, and holding his cell phone. Yeah, he may, he ducked under these trees here. We haven't seen him pop out.